All right, tank mates, what's with Divine Aquariums? Um, um, I've been doing my continuing to change the water out and, you know, change phosphates remover and stuff like that. But I haven't been showing you that because it's just going to get boring you watching me do a water change all the time. So I am changing it up a little bit. The last water change, I took the sea chem out. Um, I started changing everything. I actually went through and took out all the old media that's been in there for about five or six years. And then I put in some Marine Pure in there, the big one and a half uh, spheres. So I put that in there. And when I went in there, I found uh, one of the culprits. One of the two reasons why I have high false fates is two reasons. One, I left uh, filter media in there too long. Um, I went back and looked at all my notes. Um, when this happened about a couple years ago, or I'm saying about a year or two ago, actually it was probably 2019, it happened. Um, I went out of town. I was out of town every weekend, every week, I should say. So my filter media um, just, I left a bag of... Uh, um, 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 coal in there. Well, not coal, but, you know, um, um, filter media in there, and I left it in there for about six to eight months. On top of that, I found in my biological, where my Seachem matrix is, I had a, um, a sponge filter right there, um, and it was the fine uh, sponge filter, and it was there. It's been there for five or six years, so between those two, that was the, I'm thinking that was the, um, the incubator for the phosphates. So I took all that out. I put new media in. I used Marine Pure this time. I still have some uh, Seachem Matrix that I'll put back in there. Um, but I took all that out because it, was, it wasn't it was being cleaned well enough just me dumping it in there. So I just started all over. But I started, I replaced one canister at one time and then replaced the other canister uh, filter media at the other time. Um, so what I did was is I put that biological media in there, and then I put two of Kimi Pure Elites, which is great for a false weight removal. I put two in this one, right there. So now I'm going to put two in that one. Um, I know, you know, I usually either put Kimi Pure Elite or C Kim's um, Matrix Carbon in there. Um, Fluval makes a, a nice. Um, uh, carbon as well too but I usually use Seek Him or Kimmy Pure. I'm gonna stick with Kimmy Pure this time. Um, uh, Kimmy Pure, Pure usually says two to four months. Um, I usually do it every two months. Um, two to three months actually. Most likely I do it every three months but this time just because it makes it easier because I would replace it you know March, June, September, December and it was just easier for, for me to remember. With this high false fates, though, I think I'm going to do it every two months with this. So that's what I got going on. Um, I'm going to add these two things of Kimmy Pure Elite. There's the other one. Sorry, I'm in the process of also putting these up underneath my shelving unit. And then I also got some gems that I'm also going to put in there as well, too. So that's what I got going on. That's the latest update. Um, I'm not going to video me you know doing the water change everybody knows what a water change looks like but i made to take pictures of what the kimmy pure and everything else looks like in my canister filter all right so here's the little gems you can see the difference the size difference between the gems and the big spheres so i just put that in there just get a little bit added more to fill in the gaps i still have one tray left of c Kim matrix in there um just to make i want to leave that in there so I definitely know there's beneficial bacteria that's going to grow in there real fast without putting my tank in the shock. New tank syndrome, everybody knows what that, usually most of you guys know what that is. So that's what it looks like. I'm going to fill this up and then I'm going to do the same to that tank, that uh, filter right there. Okay, change of plans. I also ripped out all the Krypton Delata on Delata, Delata, whatever you call it. I will tell you, be very careful buying that plant because it spreads all over the tank. There were, I only took three plants five, six years ago and put that in there. Um, it's all over the tank. Just to give you a good idea, let me show you something here. Look how big those roots are. I mean, I pulled that out under the tank. So it is, it, it, there's a sprout with some more, more, some new ones right there. 
it's a lot. I got that in a bucket. I'm gonna put some water in a bucket. Make sure to get all my uh, snails out of there. So I'm gonna put rip that out. I got a new piece of wood that I've been soaking for about a month. Um, I'm gonna put, I love this Telanthera. So I'm putting that in there. I have one little Anubias plant and I have some, what else do I have? I knew I have something. I got another plant oh, right here. We bought another beta. So I got a, a, Ponogen, a Ponogentin, whatever you call it. So I got some bulbs, I'm gonna stick that in there and we're gonna see what that does. I didn't get all of the crypts out. All my quarries are not happy though, look at them. I mean, I have about 20 quarries in here. They they multiply like rabbits, man. So, there's more over here. Right there. Oops, I gotta fix that. So, let me put this back, or stop this and finish uh, what I'm doing. All right, tank mates. Here is the new scape. So, there's my angelfish. Here's one of my autos. Well, that's one of the fat ones. Uh, so I got this spider wood in there. Right there. Some Telanthera. That's where I put the Anubias. Got another Telanthera right there. And I want to get some more Java Fern for right here. Or uh, Jungle Bow. Really get that out. And actually, I just noticed in the center, right there, is a hole. So I may put one single Java, not Java Fern, but um, Jungle Bow in there. So... This is sort of the new scape. Um, I have, I put that auto or whatever it's called. So I have a couple right there to fill the gap there and a couple right back there. I gotta move that air storm back over here. Um, as you can see, you know, now you can see that that's the 500 watt heater and then this is the 300 watt suction cups aren't working anymore. But so that's what I got going on. And then again, I have that polyfill filter in there. Um, I don't know where it's at, but I got polyfill filter in there that changes colors to tell you what, what's going on. And then um, Kimmy Pure Elite, two of them in there. Polyfill filter, Kimmy Pure Elite in there. The, the, the place where I get my CO2 has been out for a long time. Um, at least with the two and a half gallon. I may have to go up and get that five gallon, but there's still a little bit more of that crypt on Delata that I gotta get in there. And of course, you could see all the little <coughs> roots that are in there. So, and I let this guy in there so he can get all the roots up right up in there. And there's my other little auto. He's chilling right there. Then I used to have 10 auto sinkless in here. Now I only have two. Um, just. They don't live that long. Again, this tank is about five, six years old. I think I did it in August of 2015, if I remember correctly, or 2016, I can't remember. I'd have to go back and look at my pictures. But, um, yeah, you can see, I gotta get, um, I, I gotta get these rocks out. I never should have put these, 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 these pebble stones in there. I'm gonna get all those out. Um, and the way I'm gonna do that is I'm just gonna get a uh, brand new, um, uh, kitty litter thing so I can the sand will just fall right through and I can get the rocks out and some of these are actually dead um, snails too so I want to get those out the volcanic rock has been in there a while I don't think it's serving a purpose anymore so I'm going to get another one of those to put in there but that's the new scape so that's what we got going on right now so hopefully you guys like the new skate. Okay, a couple hours later. Um, I finished the water change around 2 p.m. It's uh, about 5.30, 5.35. I can't see that far away. It's still dark blue, even after a 50% water change. Um, so, you know, patience is the key. You don't want to do something dr drastic. Um, you know, I mean, I did take out that big tree that did have a lot of that green hair algae on it. So, you know, I'm going to check it in a few days and then uh, go from there.